Oh, I'm out here today in uh, one of my favorite spots, tucked away in the woods. I hope that you can hear the water running behind me. It's always been a very soothing space for me. And I do find that nature is rejoicing in our absence. Right? She's regenerating. She's healing. And nature is coming out to play, which is super cool. I saw this giant bobcat just strolling down the side of the highway the other day. And um, I would think myself crazy, except there were hardly any vehicles on the on the road so I was able to like just almost stop and look this beautiful creature in the eye and think oh my goodness like I've lived here my whole life I've never witnessed a bobcat out in the open like that right I had another experience of a red tail hawk just dropping down on the trail in front of me and uh, dancing, dancing, right? Just hanging out and rejoicing. And it became very clear to me that when, when we're out in nature, the only thing out of sync in nature is us. And we're, when we are in sync, nature accepts us as one, right? As a part right? When we're out of sync, we're isolated and separated. Now, I had this amazing experience when I was in Baltimore. Now, this is one of so many amazing experiences, but I was going for a hike with my daughter, and a shaman approached us, and he took me aside And um, he said, I have some messages for you. And I'm shocked and almost into no words. I just listened. And he, you know, shared a lot of wisdoms around um, woman and her place here on this planet. And he pointed out that We named our earth mother. We named nature mother. Every life on this planet comes through her. Even the word man is embedded in the word woman. And when we choose to step into our greatness and our leadership and our power, everything else is gonna fall into balance. Right? Because we are mother to all that is here, all. And then he walked me around the grounds and he said, never, ever, ever worry. The, wor- the earth will always feed you. Everything is, that is here is here to support you and to serve you. And I do believe, like children, we have been acting very spoiled and very arrogant. And we have been taking more than we need. And um, we've been operating out of fear and greed and... She has sent us to our rooms to contemplate, right? To think about, like, what is our imprint on this planet? How am I personally showing up and um, interacting with all that is here? Now, we can choose choose to see that as a punishment and be angry and frustrated and stomp our feet like children, or... We can wrap ourselves in a cocoon and we can look deep inside 
and ask those big questions. Who am I? And why did I choose to come here right now? Right? This is a time to remember. It's a time to remember who you are and why you're here. Right? The greatness of humanity has been tangled up. Right? Has been turned into many things. Except the superpowers that they really are. So, it's time to come out of hiding. It's time to share your wisdoms with the world. And we can only do that when we ourselves are in integrity, right? That's a huge word for me because I mean it very literally, right? It's eye of the needle time. Have you ever tried to thread a thread that's not in integrity, right? It can't be done. So we have to be, we have to choose to reach high and reach deep and allow this new world to show up, right? The dolphins are swimming, the birds are singing, the animals are are begging us to show up differently and to be a part of the greatness that's here. Because guess what's on the other side? Butterflies. All kinds of butterflies, right? 